everybody, it's the War Hipster here coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial and today we are painting Corn Flesh Hounds. Yes, they're so cool. These models are amazing. I've always wanted to do them and I'm very excited to paint some up for you today to go with my Demon's Army. It's just something that I wanted to do for me. <laughs> now, these have been primed in grey sear, which is slightly different to what we did stuffing up with the blood letters, but that's because we have this really kind of dark colour scheme as you can see here on the box art well it's the instruction booklet and this is what we're going to be doing we're going to be painting it the same as this kind of colour so in order to do that we've primed it in grace here and the colour we're going to be using first is Sigvald Burgundy and what we're going to do is we're just going to load this up and we're just going to start painting this over pretty much the entirety of the flesh hand now we just want to be quite kind of quick in our application here as we go, because we don't want to have any of those kind of annoying drying lines that you can get sometimes if you move too slowly with uh, contrast paint. However, we also do still want to get a reasonably smooth coat here. So it's just a case of being methodical, just going about your business, making sure you work it into all of those recesses and just taking it a section at a time. So for example, as I've just done there, trying to end it when you get close to a recess, for example. That would be kind of how you would section it off. For example, just gonna do the head here. Just watch for pools as well. You don't wanna kind of drown the model. In Sigvald Burgundy. For example, just there in that eye, got a little bit too much in there, so I'm just gonna lift some of that off with my brush and move it around. Just like this. So with that Sigvald Burgundy all applied, what we're then going to do is we're then going to take some Karaberg Crimson, some of the new reformulated stuff, and we're going to apply this over the top of pretty much all of it. The only place we're kind of really going to ignore is the kind of veins on the side of the head. We just want to kind of move past those, but it doesn't matter too much if you do get a little bit of this Karaberg Crimson on there in as well. That's okay. Otherwise, you just kind of want to slap it on with reckless abandon. I should also mention, actually, that we're just going to avoid the inside of the mouth as well. We want that to be just that little tiny bit brighter than what this is going to end up being once all the Caraber Crimson is on there. So with that done, you should have this really nice kind of dark red. It's still drying, as you can see at the moment, but that's okay, because what we're going to do is we're going to take some Black Legion. I'm going to apply this to all of our kind of fangs and spikes and hair and teeth, all of these kinds of areas. Uh, but we're not going to be doing the kind of black sort of fades on the skin just yet, uh, obviously, because we're still got a wet model so we're just going to get this all over these areas like this and fundamentally we're going to want two different kind of black colors on the model as well so that's why well you'll see why in just a moment for now just want to get this all over these areas. Just like that. So 
So with that done, you should have a flesh hound that looks somewhat like this. So what we're going to do now is we're going to apply that black that I was talking about to the flesh. And the color we're going to be using for that is Black Templar. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a little bit of blending out, and a little bit of kind of careful placement of this paint. So the first place we're going to start with the Black Templar is on the head. This is the easiest part. And what we're going to do is we're just going to coat this Black Templar all over basically just the top of the head, including the eye, and if they have it, a bottom eyelid, just like this. Like that. What we're also going to do is we're going to apply this over the nose. Ooh, you just missed a little patch there with the Black Templar. Like that. Then on the body, what we're basically looking for is any patches that have these pimples. So for example, here on the leg, here on the leg, and over the top of the body. And what we're going to do is we're going to still, keeping with the Black Templar, of course, is we're going to basically cover over, then wash the brush, and then just smooth it out a little bit. So we're going to put this Black Templar all over this patch of the leg. And we do it quite roughly like that. Then wash the brush. And then just around it, you just want to kind of absorb and move that Black Templar away from the model to create these little faded blended black patches like that. So we'll do another one just up here, do the shoulder. So we're going to add the Black Templar all the way around at the top here. I'm going to bring it around that muscle. You don't want to do too much at once because it can get away from you if you do, if you do that. So we're going to come down here and I'm going to do that section like that. I'm going to wash the brush and then just around here, we're going to smooth out that transition just that little bit, like so. And we're just going to continue along. So I'm going to do the whole of that bit there. I'm going to bring it down like that. To round about there. Wash the brush. And we get to blending out and moving once again. Just like that. So we actually just missed a little bit there at the top. That's okay, because we're doing it black. Like so. And we're just going to carry on doing this. Grab a little bit more black Templar here. Just going to do this section. Like that. Wash the brush. And then start smoothing it out. And you want to move really quickly here, as you can see as I'm doing. Wash the brush. also have the tail which we're going to do the same thing on so this is the slightly trickier part because you want to kind of do it in two halves so we've got this heart side and that's the other side so we're going to start at the tip and work down so that this is the place that hasn't dried for the longest so we're going to start painting that black templar all over the tail like that Grab a little bit more and then we're just going to move the Black Templar on the model 
up to around about half of the tail. I'm gonna make sure we've got the entire of the half. Wash the brush, and then same again. We're gonna blend it. So with that done, what we're then gonna do is we're gonna add just a little bit more depth to those black areas by using some of the new Nuln Oil. And we're just gonna apply this kind of more towards the areas that we want to be really dark. So for example, up here on the back, I'm just gonna add this like that. Add a little bit just in here, in there. Add this over the top of the head. A little bit over the nose. Similarly, down here on the tail, we can use this to kind of smooth out any blending issues that we might have. Just by applying it over the top of that. And then once again, just lifting off a bit of it if you need to. Just like this. So with that done, what we're then gonna do is we're gonna take a roughly two to one mix of contrast medium and flesh terrors red. I'm gonna use this to add just a little hint of red to the kind of top part looking down of our flesh hound. So. What we're going to do is we're going to apply this over the top of the kind of the face area and those spines. Just avoiding that kind of inner lip, as it were. that and on the body I'm just gonna add a little hint of it in here not kind of going anywhere below the knee you can pull this into the black as well just to kind of really reinforce those blends if you've got a little gap, like for example here, where there's a corn icon, we're also gonna apply this mix in here. Like that. So with that done, we've just got one final base coat to apply and that is going to be some thin down Balthazar gold. We're gonna apply this to the brass collar. Like that. We're also gonna apply this to the rune With that done, just in classic war hipster fashion, we forgot to mention the eye. Now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take some thin down Yeriel Yellow. We're just gonna use that. To color in the eyeballs, like so. So with that done, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna take some Agrax Earth Shade. We're gonna use this to shade the brass collars. So 
So with that done, our Flash Hound is now what I would call a War Hipster battle ready. He's looking pretty awesome. However, what we're going to do now is we're going to take him to the next level. We're going to do this by adding some highlights. Now, the first one we're going to add is Word Bearers Red. And what we're going to do is we're going to use this on any of the areas that we added some red into that Flesh Terror's Red. So, for example, around the face and the top half of the body. So we're just going to be adding this just like this, picking out every single edge that we can find all the way around. Now it might be look like it's quite a subtle highlight in some areas. So for example, just around here, it might not look like it's doing very much. But on areas such as the main body, for example, around here, you'll notice that it starts to do a little bit more work. So with that done, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some Wazdaka red and we're going to do a narrower highlight on all of those red areas. So for example, just around here on the cheekbone. Just like this sort of thing. Similarly, on the muscles, for example, we're just going to start kind of narrowing how much we're doing, say. Just kind of like this. So with that done, we're going to hit pause on highlighting the red just for the moment. Well, sort of, because what we're going to do now is we're going to highlight the sort of pinky areas. And the color we're going to be using for this is pink horror. So this is going to include basically the feet, the inner part of the jaw, the tongue, and the, the veins, veins. Even the pink horror pot disagrees with me on how to say that. like this sort of thing. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some thins down Cadian flesh tone. And this is our final kind of flesh highlight. So on the areas of the red and the pink, what we're going to do is we're just going to add little spots on the sharpest points around the model. Like this, and we're also going to add the highlights inside the pink horror highlights along these sections, just like that sort of thing. And we want to do this across the whole of the flesh hound.
So with that done, you should have this pretty awesome looking red and pink skin. <laughs> Looks fabulous. So what we're gonna do now is gonna move on to highlighting all of the black. Now, you'll be pleased to hear that this is just one set of highlights. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna use some thinned down Dawnstone to essentially just pick out all of the edges on all of the black details. We're also going to be picking out all of the little pimples. Now you could dry brush it here, but I have found that it just looks better if you take the time to pick each one out. But that's just me. You might prefer to dry brush, in which case, have at it. We just want to use this Dawnstone across all of these black details, just like this. So with that Dawnstone applied to all of those black details, as you can see, the model takes a massive leap forward, pardon the pun. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to very quickly take some Administratum Grey, and we're just going to add this to the tips of the teeth and the claws. And just around the nose, I'm just going to add the little dots here and there for the light to catch off of, same as up here on the brow. Just like this sort of thing. So with that done, we're just going to apply our last and final highlight. And the colour is going to be Sycorax Bronze. I'm going to use this on the brass collars. And so with their bases complete, our flesh hounds are now finished. The bases were nice and simple in the same style as the rest of my corn army, being a Sterling Battlemire base with a dry brush of Tyrant Skull. The rocks were done with Rattling Grime, the skulls were done with Skeleton Horde. And then I added some Gamer's Grass mixed green tufts in the end. Really, really fun. I loved doing these. They only took me a day, which was just amazing, and they look so um fantastic i just i was really 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 happy with them contrast and shades working together who'd have thunk if you enjoyed this video you love the channel and you want to support me further like these legends and bosses on the screen before you you can do so head to patreon.com forward slash war hipster or head to ko-fi.com forward slash war hipster alternatively you can now become a youtube channel member by heading to the channel page and clicking on the join button just here exactly like these awesome folks have done and if you just want to shoot me a little thanks just because you really love this video, you can click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.